Hi there, my friends, and welcome back to Dead Fire and to Nekataka. We're just exploring the Nekataka district of Queensbirth. We'll get a little bit more a clue of what's going on before we might sail back to Port Marge again. But first, we want to check on the Luminous Ardra Mill. That's really something special, right? And also very heavily connected to our quests. So let's see what we can do there. Whom do we have here? Who's that? Cortina's voice finds you before she does. Her barks of laughter and cheerful directives resounding throughout the mill. She flits from worker to worker, offering critique and approval. When she finally spots you, a shadow of apprehension passes over her face. She hides it with a toothy grin. If you are here about the taxes, tell the queen. Oh, you are not the tax collector. Cortina narrows her eyes, her hand twitching at the hilt of her blade. What business brings you to my mill? Well, who are you? Okay. Cortina leans in close, one prodigiously furry eyebrow raised. You go around asking just anyone in Queen's birth personal questions. Maybe you end up dead in a ditch. Have caution, eh? Is that a, is that a threat? Lucky for you, I am a woman of honor. She gives you a sunny smile and claps her hands together. I direct luminous milling for the Valian Trading Company. It's a nice job, eh? And I'm quite good at it. You want to know more? Buy me a drink first, per guano. Cortina slaps you on the shoulder, a playful smile on her lips. And what do you do here? She looks about the room with exaggerated wonder, her green eyes wide. Maybe you cannot see through that thing on your eyes, huh? She stands on the tips of her toes and leans forward, peering into your face. She laughs a little to herself and runs a finger across the arm of the chair beside her. She holds a finger up for your inspection. It's caked in shimmering blue dust. We mill luminous, of course. Take big chunks, break into smaller chunks, crush into dust-sized chunks. Per complanquenet, it is really not so complicated. She gives you a condescending little pat on the arm. Okay. All right. We'll just have a look around then, eh? You probably won't mind, will you? I'll handle this. What's here? These crude shards of luminous ardor retain their unearthly glow. Let's go to the rooftop and watch there. What we can see about the waterfall and the rest of that thing. That's beautiful. And impressive. Though there's a wet I'll dog. Take Let's take him. Abraham reduces initiative penalty for armor. Aha. Uh -huh. And our party members will regain some health when they kill an enemy. That's not bad, eh? It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Moving around a little bit. Well then, let's go back down, eh? I mean, I have to say I've expected a little more of this mill. But we'll see what we can find there. Maybe later a bit. Exploring it a bit more. Will be fine, hopefully. Hmm. I think we haven't been like here. We've been everywhere here. We haven't been here, nor here. Let's go to that stand. Who are you? Well met, stranger. Akira, but isn't this district a fine place? 
The one of woman stares off into the distance with a longing expression. I will turn to see what she's looking at. She doesn't settle on any point of particular interest. Everything from the high buildings to the cobblestones is a subject of fascination. She notices your attention and turns her eyes to the ground. I am not one meant to venture far from the gullet. Until recently, I... I had a respectable job at the Luminous Bathhouse. The Bathhouse? Now that I am unemployed, I seek to make myself useful before the money runs out. And I must return to the Roparu as a pauper. Yeah, the Wana structure of society is kind of... Meh. So, how did you lose that job? More happens at the bathhouse than cleanliness and ease. It is a place of meetings, business, and transactions, to all of which the attendants are either blind or deaf. One day, I overheard more than I ought to have. In my airing, I gasped. To my great shame, I showed a most unprofessional reaction before clients. I was fired, and rightly so. She bows her head. Um, what did you overhear in the bathhouse to cause such a scandal? Akima shakes her head and lowers it in the deepest shame. She's trembling, and it's clear that in her estimate, she has suffered enough without debasing herself even further. So, you worked at the Luminous Bathhouse. A wonderful place. Would that I could cross its threshold again and feel the mist of luminous waters. A smile is sad if genuine. In spite of my time there, I cannot do else but give it my highest recommendation. You will find the luminous bathhouse in Periki's Overlook. The Kahanga Palace? Yeah. You want to follow the road north, up the mountain, always climbing. It is the highest point in the city. And Queen's birth? The Queen granted this area of the city to the Valian outsiders. Here they organize their business and trade, digging up the archipelago with both hands and carrying riches overseas. She glances toward the docks. In her welcoming embrace, the Queen allowed a similar concession to the Royal Deadfire Company. You would do well to see as much of Nekataka while you are here, I am thinking. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Interesting meetings. We Behold, Aethys is risen again. He is glorious in form and purpose. Okay, tell us more. Gone shepherds us all, traveler. Seek out his temple along the sacred stair, that thy path shall be made clear. I'm going to get over here somehow. But for that, we might have to... go to the Whalen Trading Company. And there was more people here standing around and something. Leave That's going to be interesting. Torch. Some more. All of you should come. What's going on here? The Light of Dawn, a Redcar and Morality play. Hmm. Who is this woman here? No sooner do you approach the Valian woman that she squints and turns up her nose, regarding you with thinly veiled distaste. I only deal with serious clients. Now shoo. She makes a sweeping gesture with both hands. Um, what sort of business are you in? Not the business of answering questions, Nazenale. Madiko. But it is impossible to find skilled work when every competent freelancer wastes their shore leave in the wild mare. She grimaces toward the east. When blood travels south of their brains, the value of a good bounty is forgotten. So, one more sailor's accepting work. But I blame Luminous Adra. 
She folds her arms and exhales sharply through her nose. Our privateers are busy escorting shipments out of the dead fire. Everyone is rich. No one is hungry. Where are the casitas willing to sink their enemies for a bag of pies, huh? Drunk on success. She waves derisively toward the east. And what bounties do you have available? I do not make a habit of shepherding new talent, but... Ach, there is a seed of potential. She sighs herself and peers over your shoulder before giving up and addressing you directly. We will cut your teeth on Biakara, a Juana sailor and would-be patriot who plagues company ships. Yeah, I mean, the Juana are not our favorite ones, even though they originally belong here, but the structure of their society makes it so that they have a lot of unsympathetic people. I'll take the back. Gilarde! The Akara sails a voyager scale of Tangaloa off of Hasongo's northeastern coast. And yes, studies you once more before shrugging and seeing you off with a wave. And I've got some more questions. questions. Ask your questions, Aimiko. Okay, nothing more. M all right. We What's can summon the guards here? if you want to be difficult, Aimiko. Kindly leave. What does this man If have Luca doesn't see problem? reason, the Duape will lose their lands. For their sake, I must... That's enough out of you. Good day. What about this man? The young Juana wears a disconcerted frown. He meets your approach with a flicker of a welcoming smile, but it dies down quickly. Oh, a polite Juana. That's one in a thousand. Please, I must ask a favor. Oh, that's why. He shies back from making eye contact, keeping his head lowered. What say? Do you have business with the Valian Trading Company? Not yet, at least. My Why? people are the Duape. We signed a contract with the company. What is in the contract? Tawina looks toward the headquarters with a despondent frown. We were not understanding the terms at the time. I figured that out. I wish to, what say, renegotiate. But the clerks turned me away. Hmm. Tell me more about this contract. Maybe we can help. My father, the Ranga, took payment from the company. In exchange, they dig for Audra. He speaks with more confidence, as if these words were rehearsed several times over. He did not understand the Valian way. When he dies, the Outlanders will claim our island for themselves. Father has fallen ill, and the clerk, Luca, stands by the agreement as surely as if it was stamped in his skin. Hmm. I'm guessing the company didn't like someone challenging them in their unfair deal. Akira. When the Valian clerk learned I was from the Duape, he became very anxious. I made my appeals to Luca, but my words were as stones dropped down the deepest well. While I am barred from the company office, I can do nothing for my people. Hmm. I'm a legal clerk myself. No, no. And why did they kick you out of the office? I showed Luca a new contract, yes? Fairer, more agreeable terms. Luca called me a criminal and summoned his guards. That's typical. Tawino lets his arms hang down by his sides. What do you mean by a new contract? A man by in the, the way? gullet offered to assist me. He carried papers, ink, and wax. He helped to write a new contract in the Valian way and to fix the correct seals. Ah, okay, that's what it is about. Luca, I say he did not like this. He took my contract and forced me into the streets. Do we know just to the spot on which he stands? Ah, oh, well, I'm pretty sure you were given a forgery. I do not know this word. I would fix, but Luca will not give me the chance. Negotiating with outsiders has not gone my way. Indeed. Um, can I take a look at the new contract? Luca has it secured in a chest. Tengaloa's jaws such trouble for parchment, I say. Um, I'll meet with this Luca. Maybe we can arrive at more agreeable terms. Akira, for you. my thanks. I will remain here by day until justice is done. The worst of its concerns are quickly overshadowed by a broad smile. Yeah, why not, why not? But what is this, by the way? You duck down into the camel and find yourself kneeling before an iron grate. The reek of sewage wafting from the other side is powerful enough to bring tears through your to your eyes. 
The iron bars are set firmly into the surrounding brick, barring any passage onward. Let's inspect the grid. The iron appears solid, but exposure to the elements has worn away at the surrounding brickwork. The bars extend deeper. These evident fractures and prying the grate loose would take considerable effort. We'll look for a weakness with our great mechanics skill. The iron looks sturdy enough, but you're able to spot some telltale signs of a corrosion between the bars and the brick. Now that the defect is apparent, the work of bending the bars would prove a less demanding challenge. All right, let's use the pry bar. Leveraging your weight on the pry bar causes one of the bars to snap free, leaving enough space to crawl through. Carefully squeeze through the opening, steering yourself for, for what comes next. In the darkness of the tunnel, you hear quiet retching. You press on with offered sympathies. As you progress through the tunnel, a change in the air pressure catches your attention. There's an opening above your head. The walls are slick and coated with waste, but you find handholds carved in either side of a narrow passage leading up. You haul yourself out of the pit toward freedom. The walls are slick and... yeah, out through the toilet of the Vanier Trading Company headquarters. <laughs> oh my goodness, the man that came from beneath. Ah, it's it's a little bit a shitty path, but some some days you just have to take the path. Oh, we're in the back bureau. I'll handle this. The lighting in here makes for a flattering reflection, and here numerous guests guests have appear to have carved their names into the wooden frame of this wood of this painting. What do we have here? Yeah, that's the latrine. We'll stay here. It's basically the way back. Watch and uh, let's learn. open this. Hey there. I heard you're, you're, you're nice or something like that, eh? There's a paladin, there's a governor's backyard, a clerk. Give me a real challenge. Cursory scan of the shelves reveals labeled ledgers that date back decades. And what do we have here? That's company property, and then here. The enigmatic god of cold. Um, I don't know, we'll take everything. I see where you're going with that. Leave it to me. What do we have in here? Oh, you see there's a little bit of something, right? <laughs> They'll never know I'm here. I got this. I got this. Mm. More and more stories. Yeah? Be right there. Can we enter here, by the way? Ecosi, you have business here. The guard holds up a hand, appraising you in a few sweeping glances. Um... I just came from Port Magic. Governor Clario suggested I might fight to work here. You are in luck. The governor is between meetings. Go on in. Good, good, good. Hi there. Standing next to her desk and lost in thought, Governor Alvari looks up at your approach. Her expression of intent focus thaws instantly, and she greets you with a startlingly sunny smile. An interesting surprise. The Watcher of Cadnoa, no? I am told that is your ship in the harbor. Because I mean nothing by it. All newcomers are of great interest here. I am Lueva Alvari, governor in residence of the Valian Trading Company here in Nekataka. What brings you to my door? So you're in charge here. An interesting question. 
Conan Elbari's mouth twists in a rueful smile. Director Castor concerns himself with the business of the Valian Trading Company as a whole. He must coordinate our operations across the entire region. I am afraid you must deal with me for the time being. You seek work, information. These are things I can help you with. Hmm. What kind of work, though? As she folds her hands. Work suited to a watcher. Your arrival presents an opportunity. How much do you know about the Adra trade? And what's your interest in the Adra? It sells for its weight in gold. Our investors have charged us with claiming every vein we can reach. Alvari punctuates her blunt statement with a smile. Every viable deposit is of interest to us. Cartographers, surveyors, at any moment we have a dozen expeditions underway. Some weeks ago, we received word of a large quantity of luminous Adra on a distant island. Pugukohara. It is not charted on any of our maps. Well, it is on the However, contrary. However, Pukukohara is said to neighbor the island of Tikawara, and we've already made contact with the natives there. We dispatched an expedition to Tikawara with instructions to locate the Adra site and determine its value. Oh, that's where Hilthus would go Our next. Our people have neither returned nor sent any word on their progress. Alvaro spreads her hands in a gesture of helplessness. We are too long a delayed, and someone must finish the job. A watcher can determine if there is essence in the Adra, if it is worth the trouble and investment to remove it. Information for which we are willing to pay. Hmm. So... You want me to find your people? Ideally. But if the worst has come to pass, I would like you to complete the investigation of the Adra deposit. Anything that may assist the company. Oh, a company woman, hey? That's it. What if the Adra is worthless? Then it is worthless, and we save ourselves wasted effort. Either way, you will have fulfilled your end of the bargain. Here, I will mark Tikawara on your map. This will be of some use to you, I think. It entitles you to act as a commissioned agent of the Valiant Trading Company. Present it and you will be recognized as such. So we're kind of James Bond now. Alvari presses a document into your hand. Until then, I believe we're finished. Return here once you have word of our agents and our prize. Oh, and take care upon the open sea. There are greater hazards in these waters than a few pirates. Well, that's going to be interesting, and maybe there's also some more interesting things to uh, sneak around with. In the next episode, have a great time until next time, and happy gaming. This is Juan Wilkan signing out. See you soon, my friends, and happy gaming.